So in lieu of doing a March favorites video, some of you asked me to do a what's in my makeup bag video. Um, so I'm kind of going to do what's in my makeup bag slash here are the natural beauty products that I use and love. I've been switching gradually over to using the most natural beauty products that I can find just because I'm kind of a believer that if you wouldn't put it on your face, you probably don't want it in your body. Our skin is our biggest organ and it absorbs everything that we put on it. So I am gradually switching all of my makeup over to the most natural forms that I can find. It is challenging because I'm kind of a makeup holic and I just made up that word. So finding really high quality products that really live up to my expectations because I'm used to products that use synthetic things that stay on my face like glue. So the natural stuff is a little bit more slippery, it's not quite as long wearing, so I've been kind of navigating some tips and tricks and I feel like I'm at the point where I can share with you guys what I've discovered. So here is what I've got going on. We'll start with the most basic, which would be our base or our foundation. This is by Zuzu Lux. It's gluten-free, mineral-based, and it doesn't have any paraffins or artificial colorings or dyes, which is a theme that you will find throughout this makeup bag. It also is not tested on animals. This is the oil-free liquid foundation. It's one fluid ounce, and I believe it's about $30. So it's standard as to pricing like what you would find at Sephora or at the department store and I really like it. Rex does not like it because he just left the building. It definitely feels like it's a whipped creamy texture. I'm wearing it right now. Everything that I'm going to talk about I have on my face right now. So it looks great when you first put it on but after six to eight hours it does need a touch up. So I'm really used to like my Kat Von D Locket Tattoo Foundation, my Lancome Taunt 24 Hour, like that stuff does not move. This definitely in your T-zone, I find around my nose, around my mouth, it does need some touching up after about six to eight hours. Especially if you live in a warmer climate, you are going to probably experience that a little sooner or if you have super oily skin, this probably isn't for you. But it's the best liquid natural foundation that I found and I really do like it especially those first six hours. If you're looking for a good liquid foundation that's natural try this guy out. This brand Mineral Fusion is awesome. They just like the other one are totally free of chemicals parabens. This is actually their mineral foundation and you might notice it's a lot darker than the skin and that's because I use it as a bronzer. It's completely completely matte and that's what I like in a bronzer. This number is Deep One, and I use it to contour, as you can see, and then I have it up around my forehead, and you can even use it as a really simple eyeshadow as well. They have a huge color line. Again, the brand is Mineral Fusion, um, and it blends super well. I haven't had an issue with it being chunky or cakey, which is something I found with natural makeup tends to happen, but this is really, really fine pressed powder so it's very easy to blend and I have been loving this. It's probably my favorite natural makeup product that I found. Beauty is in the eye of the beholder and your eyes are also the window to your soul so you should be putting some eyeshadow on them. The best mineral eyeshadow I found again is from Mineral Fusion. This is one of their little trios. I believe this retails for 19-ish dollars. Um, but this is just like the most basic. It's a matte cream, a matte dark brown, and a shimmery kind of plummy brown. I use this every single day. These are the only three eyeshadows that I have on right now. It's a really good range of colors, and I really love it. This is Fragile Eyeshadow Trio. They also have a bunch of singles. And they have a bronzer trio that I want to get next, but use it as an eyeshadow trio because it's shimmery. So that's going to be my next purchase from them. But again, Mineral Fusion, awesome. The only thing that I wish were different about this is that the matte cream shade were bigger and these two were smaller because I found that I've already gone through a ton of this cream shade. I love it. And I wish that there were more of it.
I've talked about this Tarte mascara before. This is the Lights Camera Flashes. I also have been using the Lights Camera Lashes for my bottom lashes. This is a traditional comb. It's bristles like from a brush. And I really like this little guy to get under my bottom lashes. I've talked about this before. This is my second time purchasing the Lights Camera Flashes. And this is a plastic comb. It's a lot more wider. It lets you like get in there and wiggle your lashes apart. And I love, love, love this mascara. It is pricey. It's upwards of $22, $23. And you go through it kind of quickly. But as far as natural mascaras go, this is the bomb. I use it every day. I literally cannot say enough good things about it. And again, finding that natural mascara is really tough. A lot of them are super flaky. I've never had an issue with this flaking. However, if it starts smearing, ooh, you're in trouble. It's not waterproof. So once it starts smearing, you are a mess. So don't wear this in the rain. Don't wear this to a funeral. Do not wear this if you're going to see a sad movie. If that's the case, you might want to try this guy. It's more waterproof, a little bit more smudge resistant, which is why I put it on my bottom lashes. So these guys together are awesome. I also recently picked up the Tarte Eyelash Curler. I don't know why, but I have had the hardest time finding an eyelash curler I like. I've been through so many of them and they have all found their way to the trash, except for this one. I don't know what the difference is, but I love it. It's left a lashing impression. Along those lines of Tarte products that aren't actually makeup, this brush, I don't know what it's called. I think it's like the airbrush foundation brush from them. I use it for my foundation every single solitary day and I've had it for about a year now and I cannot see myself living without it. If I had to pick one brush to put my foundation on with for the rest of my life, it would be this guy. It's nice and dense, it's not super flat, so you can work with it really, really well. The bristles are packed and they're super, super soft. And I've been using it with my Zuzu foundation and they're a match made in heaven. Though I really haven't found a foundation that doesn't work well with this brush. So if you're looking for a good foundation brush, this guy is where it is at. My last Tarte product, I promise guys, this is the last Tarte thing. This is the Sl Clean Slate 360 degree creaseless 12 hour smoothing eye primer. And that's a mouthful. Um, this is amazing because it is kind of a sheer, it's almost like pearlescent color. It doesn't have a color, much of a color to it. But I put it on all over my lid and I actually dab it underneath my eye and use it as a primer for my foundation because I do have some fine lines under my eyes. It really helps my concealer not sink into those lines. So when I'm putting it on my lid, I take a little bit and just dab it underneath and it's awesome. A lot of them I'm afraid to put in my eyes because the base really gets in your eye. I do have the Urban Decay and I love that one too, but like I said, I'm trying to scoot away from that type of product and go for more natural options. And this is the best eye shadow primer that I found. I have two more things. One is a natural deodorant. If you're like me, you need a good deodorant. And I've had a really hard time finding a good natural one. Most of them don't do anything. They smell good, but they're like, when you put them on, they're wet, which just feels gross to me. Like, I don't want it to feel wet. I want it to be dry. That's why it's deodorant and a perspirant. That's the idea of it, in my mind at least. And I don't like any of them except for this one. And this was recommended to me by a friend. It's Primal Pit Paste. They also have it in a jar, which is kind of weird because you like put it in your hand and put it on. Not my style. This is the stiff version. This is the lemongrass and thyme and it smells so good. Like it smells like you could eat it. Um, I want to read the ingredients to you because a lot of people have allergies just to let you know if you're interested in this product what it does but more importantly what it doesn't have. There's no aluminum, no parabens, and it's cruelty free so it wasn't tested on animals. It's non-aluminum baking soda, organic shea butter, organic coconut oil, organic beeswax, organic arrowroot powder, lemongrass essential oil, thyme essential oil, non-GMO vitamin E, and that is it. 
The fact that I can pronounce all of those ingredients should say something in and of itself. Go pick up your Dove deodorant and try to read the back. Do it. I dare you. If nothing else, it'll be a really fun tongue twister. So if you're looking for a great natural deodorant, this stuff is the best. I love it, love it, love it. Keeps you dry, smells amazing, and you all should go get some. Last but not least, I have a toner slash makeup setting spray. This is what I've been using to set my makeup. It's the Andalou Naturals Fruit Stem Cell Science Clementine and C Illuminating Toner for normal and combo skin. Um, again, the ingredients, guys, are fantastic. It has vitamin C, it has aloe, it's very hydrating, and it's super refreshing, and it smells really good. It smells like oranges. And a lot of the setting sprays have, like, plastic in them, so as much as I love my setting sprays, I've been shying away from them. It doesn't work as well, but it does work and it's great as a toner too. So if you want to kind of just brighten up and refresh your face, refresh your makeup, or you just want to spray it on before bed, it's kind of like an all-in-one product. And I've really fallen in love with it over the past couple weeks and I highly recommend it. If you guys really enjoyed this and I hope you got a few tips and tricks and maybe found a few new products to help you scoot away from those nasty chemical laden beauty products that we all love so, so much. If you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up Please subscribe to my channel. I will try to do more beauty videos like this because you guys really seem to like them. If you have any ideas for what you want to see next, please leave it in the comments below and I will see you all next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye. Hey guys, today I have a really fun comparison video for you. I don't typically get to Some of you, especially if you live in warmer climates. I've got powder.